It's another shocking twist in a heartbreaking story. The accidental cause has now been ruled out. We are now talking about a criminal investigation. Seven people died and nine were injured in March when fire tore through this heritage building, an inferno that lit up the Montreal sky. It left this nearly 200-year-old grey stone a charred husk. And I can confirm that traces of accelerant were found, which may help explain the speed at which the blaze spread. The latest bombshell is just one of many revelations following the fire. Stories emerged about the condition of the building and the rental units inside. Some of them were illegal Airbnbs. This is a freaking fire trap. Speaking shortly after the fire, one former renter says he discovered his Airbnb had no windows. It's kind of small, a little bit, you know, kind of a little sketchy, but in kind of a cute way. And then it was like, holy sh there's no windows. Over the last few years, inspectors flagged several violations, including a lack of smoke detectors, problems with the fire escape and fire doors. But the owner's lawyer says his client has been tried in the court of public opinion. Ça ne peut être une bonne nouvelle pour mon client. He says the criminal investigation is good news for his client, showing the fire isn't his fault. But for families of victims, this announcement is just another painful reminder of the tragedy. We were heartbroken already. And this news has opened our wounds again, actually. So, Kate, uh, it's a criminal investigation now. What can you tell us about what happens next? Well, Asha, police aren't saying much. They're not saying if they have a suspect or suspects. They're not giving any hints as to potential motives. They're not even saying what kind of accelerant they found at the scene. But this criminal investigation could mean that families wait even longer for answers. And that's because there was a coroner's inquiry planned that's been postponed until the criminal investigators are done of their work. Okay, thanks, Kate.